Bring it toward the fire department. Bring him toward the FD. Freezing, stranded, surrounded by ice, but not alone. He was obviously uh, very cold, you know, frightened, shaken up. An 11 year old boy went through a thin layer of ice at this Naperville apartment complex retention pond Sunday. Thrashing through the ice. You just want to get in, react as quick as possible, and get out of the water. Firefighter Mike Leston got in the frigid water and swam out to the boy. Slipping your feet in first. Wearing this buoyant insulated suit, Leston says he knew given the temperature and conditions, seconds mattered. It may seem stable, but at any moment, feet, inches, that ice could change drastically, and one step could be the wrong one. This is my first day back to patrol from investigation. Neighborville Police Sergeant Brad Marsh threw a safety ring out to the boy, allowing the 11 year old to stay afloat. Amps up the situation for us. Increasing the chances of a safe rescue. So when you hear a child in the water, I mean, it's just natural action. Your, you know, your, your level of uh, excitement actually, you know, rises. Jay Switek talked the boy through every step. I just told him to stay above the water and obviously look at me the whole time. He was totally composed and like you said, and that, that was easier for me to give him verbal commands, him to understand them and be able to do that that made the rescue easy. The boy was eventually pulled to shore, apparently already using this close call as a learning moment. He was just basically stating some things that it wasn't a great idea what he did. That's why these firefighters want you to pay attention to signs like this one and stay off the ice. There's a reason for that. And obviously just when you think it may be stable, okay, it's, it's not always stable.